looks like I've got into a, a heavy deer area here. I can see some some deer scat. A little bit here too. Alright, and this is very fresh. It's still kind of clumped together. And there's a lot of uh, disturbed ground here. So the deer have been here probably today. It's still shiny and moist. So uh, we've probably had deer here very, very recently. Here, a couple of little pellets here. Hey guys, uh, I want to talk about something that's uh, a little odd and probably has not happened to most of us, and that is having to survive only on what's in your pockets. Sometimes that, that could happen. You could be in a situation where uh, the canoe dumps over and you lose your backpack and all you've got is what's in your pockets. You could be in a situation where a bear grabs your backpack and takes off with it and all you've got is what's in your pockets. Uh, so consider something, when you carry things in your pocket, it ought to be things that have multiple functions, that are lightweight, that are valuable to your survival. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the things that I carry that I think is fairly valuable and I want you to consider having something like it yourself. Okay, what I've got here is my Coughlin's survival whistle. I've carried this thing for years. Um, I've never had to use it for its purpose, but just in case, I've got it. On the end is a whistle, which is important because you want to be able to be heard if you want to be rescued. On this end is a water-filled compass, um, which will, you know, it'll help you navigate some. It's not a great compass, but it's, it's good. Inside, if we unscrew the top, inside is a container, theoretically waterproof, but I don't trust it to be necessarily. Uh, the O-ring is gone. If I had a, an O-ring here, that'd be maybe more waterproof. But inside is a little mirror, and you can use it for signaling. It's a very small mirror, so it's not going to be as good as a big metal signal mirror. But this thing has multiple purposes. It's very lightweight. It'll fit in your pocket. Uh, so consider, and it also has a little hook here if you wanted to run a, a lanyard around your neck, you could do that. So consider a situation where all you've got to survive is what's in your pocket. And make sure that what's in your pocket has multiple uses. In fact, this I didn't want to show this because it's so tiny. This even has a little strike surface on it where you could throw some sparks off of this. You know, I heard stories back in the old days about scouts who uh, were out on a scout or a hunt and it was so cold, um, but they really couldn't start a fire. And what they would do is they would put their back up against a tree, wrap their blanket around them, and build a tiny little fire between their knees, about that big, and just sort of throw the blanket all around them. So it'd be like a blanket tent with a little bitty fire probably even smaller than this, inside, and they would just feed it twigs, little tiny twigs, all night long just to kind of stay alive. So a very small fire like this, if it was completely enclosed inside of a blanket, might actually be something that could keep you alive. You don't need a lot of fire, you just keep feeding it twigs. I'm in a, I'm in a downed tree area, there's a bunch of vines that, that I guess added too much weight to this tree, or the bank of the stream behind me here fell out. The tree fell over and all the vines are dry and they're off the ground. And I can just snap them off and keep adding them to my fire. You can see they're almost entirely consumed here. It's just all white ash now. <laughs> 